life on the road. Lauren's working. We're at a tire shop. Getting tires put on our home. Is that the word to say? This is our waiting room right now. <laughs> Type faster. We're, we gotta buy four tires right now. Type faster. Make more money, Lauren. That's not how that works. <laughs> Welcome back to road sitting Ben and Lauren here now Lauren just kicked me out of the truck I'm in the trailer now and we are getting new tires put on our trailer And it just seemed like an appropriate time to do a review on the trailer tires that we ran for the past two years And that's these national uh, ST tires national tire brand now I couldn't find any information on them or too much information on them when we installed them two years ago in Rock Springs, Wyoming but what I can say is uh I searched yesterday and I didn't find much information on them then either. Now we purchased these two years ago in Rock Springs, Wyoming and today we are passing through Rapid City, South Dakota. We just left Gillette, Wyoming at the FMCA rally and we were headed to Wall, South Dakota. And we knew around this time I wanted to replace the tires and we're here in Rapid and we know a good tire shop and, and we, uh, we're getting the new tires put on. But these tires have only lasted us two years. I'm going to say that's the biggest downfall. And now, could they keep going? Maybe, possibly, but I've already had one major tire failure. And these tires weren't even nine months old at that point. So that one tire failure uh, leading up to it, I did question the tire and the sidewall. And I don't think I ran over anything in the road because, well, I didn't find anything in the tread. And I examined that tire pretty good. And that was back in Nevada. Fast forward to now, near almost two years that we've had these on since we put them on in Rock Springs. Uh, I'm questioning the tires. You know, I've ran a lot of trailer tires in the 14 and 15 inch sizes over the years. I've never had one last me more than three years. Now, either I changed it because of dry rot, or I got rid of the trailer, or... Uh, the tire failed and I replaced it. One of those reasons always had me change it. I guess point being is I hear people say they have tires that run five years and you know what? I'm guilty of it. I ran a tire that was almost 20 years old on a trailer that I had borrowed from someone and I ran it not realizing how old that tire was ended up replacing it and I, I probably ran that tire for at least a couple hundred miles but point is these national tires, uh, uh, special trailer tires, I didn't find too much information on two years ago, and I really haven't found much information on them since. They've only lasted us two years, so that's about a year shorter than I've ran any trailer tire, except for the one that blew up. Replace that with the Costco tire, and it's doing fine. Now, the time that we've ran these tires, when we got them in Rock Springs, we went out to California, down to Arizona, back to California, up to Medora, down to Kansas, over to Missouri, back up to North Dakota, back to Medora, down through South Dakota, over to Wyoming, and now we're back in Rapid City in those two years. And in those two years, the sidewall on these flex a lot. Anytime I go around a corner, they flex quite a bit. Now that's normal for a tandem axle trailer, but these did more flexing than I've ever seen a tire do. And I've had the Carlisles, I've had Hercule ST2 tires, Power King or Toe King something, and Toe Master or Toe Max from Costco. Ran all those tires over the years. And these I've seen the most flex out of, out of an E tire. I will specify it. it's an E tire, not a D. I've seen a lot of flexes out of Ds, but these were all E tires. And, you know what? They were all on this trailer. No, I take that back. A few of those were on my old fifth wheel. Overall, I wasn't very impressed with these tires. They only lasted two years. They seemed to flex a lot, and they didn't seem to hold up too well. Although the tread looked pretty good. That, you know, I've never really worn off tread off a trailer tire, though. They've always dry rot it before I lost all the tread. So two years, that's what I got out of them. This is not a great review. It's not a bad review. The tires did make it two years. We did buy them during the COVID 
crisis and the supply chain demand issues we paid I think less than a hundred bucks for each of those tires we bought four of them and the company that put them on was really good no complaints there I'm not an expert tire person but this is my review and uh, I can say I, I'm comfortable with the two-year mark with these tires I just I didn't feel comfortable pushing it any further with these uh, I started seeing some deformities in another sidewall and I, I thought you know what two years let's change them out well I need to get going Warren's in the truck I'm sure the tire guys are gonna come get us at any moment we're gonna try out some new Goodyear trailer tires these seem to be the go-to tires currently and until next time remember to seek learn experience and grow